The presidency has responded to an alert by the Department of the State Services, DSS, which warns of a plot to overthrow the present administration. Stakeholders in the security sector are now divided on how best to address this challenge. Plus TV Africa's Aneta Felix has details. Here's a DSS warning of a plot by religious and political leaders to overthrow the presidency. And here's the response of Femi Additional, special advisor to the president to the DSS alert. But when we asked leaders of major religious institutions in Nigeria, they denied knowledge of any such plot. I am not aware of any plot by any religious leaders. I think that if there was such a plot, I would have heard about it. I'm not aware of any plot. Um, however, what I do uh, feel is that every Nigerian, not just religious leaders, has a right to advise. Meanwhile, public affairs analyst Nick Ajule says stakeholders should be free to pass a vote of no confidence on the government as it can hardly have the effect of overthrowing the government. The only constitutional means that can bring down the current government is if the National Assembly decides to impeach the president. Ajule also reeled the security challenges confronting Nigeria, asking the government to address the root cause of the issues rather than stifle dissent. Everybody agrees that there is a problem with Nigeria. The defense minister said the country is bleeding. Mr. President himself, when he met with the service chiefs that are in office now, he said the country was in a state of emergency. So what the government needs to do is to begin to resolve the issues that are causing this tension. Pastor Adifarasi, however, cautioned influencers in political and religious spaces to be cautious when making public speeches so as not to heat up the polity as a new election cycle draws near. Annetta, Felix, Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.